Nightcry is the brainchild of two legends of Japanese horror, Clock Tower creator Hifumi Kono and the grudge director Takashi Shimizu. And it's also a spiritual successor to Clock Tower, bringing back the series' point and click gameplay and even reviving its infamous villain, the Scissor Man, who is now referred to as the Scissor Walker. But perhaps most important of all, players still cannot fight back and can only run and hide from danger, which will surely recapture the sense of helplessness and fear of being found that the Clock Tower series is renowned for. Obviously the game is being modernised with 3D graphics, and the story is getting more attention thanks to the cinematics that are seemingly products of Shimizu's influence. Unfortunately, it looks like Nightcry will just miss out on getting funded, but we hope Kono, Shimizu and their team persist to make what should be a survival classic. Strength of the Sword Ultimate is being developed by the extraordinary two-man team that made the original game in 2013. The original, which was misleadingly called Strength of the Sword 3, was a PSN exclusive, but Ultimate will be coming to PC, Vita, and probably the Wii U. You can expect to see the same unique blend of a brawler and a fighter capped off with a ridiculous arsenal that contains a giant sword, rocket launcher, and flamethrower. The immense difficulty, epitomised by AI that study your playstyle and adjust their tactics to counter it, will also return. The new features include extended customization and perhaps most importantly, co-op and PvP. The PvP system also has a remarkable system called Dark Mode, that pits players who excel against an incredibly powerful Dark Swordsman. If a player defeats a Dark Swordsman, they're given a Dark Token. And if they collect three tokens, they can become and challenge other players as the Dark Swordsman themselves. It's all very impressive and will be very interesting to see how the strength of the sword will fare on PC with a bigger potential audience. Orion Trail is a single player space adventure through space. What first caught our eyes was its attention to detail in terms of presentation. From the Star Fox-like character portraits and Star Trek uniforms and bridge to the incredibly witty text and silly animations, the game is endlessly charming. The game itself is about making tough decisions. This starts with picking your crew and continues to dealing with a warp weasel infection on your ship. Seemingly, it has a lot of depth and lends itself to constant learning and replaying. It sounds like a fun game, but it's the character and humour of Orion Trail that makes it come alive and takes it to another level. With 21 days to go, Orient Trail needs 55k more. Make it happen! This is the Bergson's house. On the beautiful, magnificent outskirts of Mount Morta. Children of Morta is one of those games that just makes you want to marry pixel art. But not really because it can never love you back. Still, this game looks amazing and is supported by a promising premise. The Bergson family are the guardians of the mountain and all is peaceful, until the dark corruption returns, forcing them to travel into the mountain to defeat it. And since the game is a roguelike, you can choose which family member to fight as every playthrough. So you have choices including a martial artist, swordsman, archer and a fire mage. The non-fighting family members function as a blacksmith and alchemist, which neatly ties in the game's light RPG mechanics. Children of Mortar is beautiful, and we want it. Another space adventure, Star Mazer is so retro, it combines dazzling pixels with two classic genres, side-scrolling shooters and point-and-click adventures. You play as the out-of-time and macho brick metal Stonewood, trying to uncover the secrets of the past, appropriating to a new world, treading seedy night spots and shooting thugs in the face. And you can do it many times in many different ways, thanks to procedural generation. The music is, as they say, off the hook, with contributions from Mega Man and Shovel Knight composers. And there are also some crazy crossovers with other fantastic Kickstarters, Shovel Knight, Hyperlight Drifter and Aegis Defenders. It's all pretty cool stuff, but we're going to stop there so we can stop looping this trailer for you. Thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on IndieFormer. Mmm, he smells fun.
do you try to kiss me? No, man. No, man. No chance, man. No, man. No chance. My mouth is open. Damn, I wish I was cool as that guy. Just wish. I've got swag! Let's get all the lighters, all the men, you know? That's right!